That was fun. Okay, okay, okay. Peanut. Peanut. This guy. This guy has made the losers run. He beat Jeja's Kirby. He beat a he beat a Pikachu. He beat a Pikachu with Little Mac. Now he's in top eight losers versus Villager. Can he do this? Can he actually win this with Little Mac? This character that just gets harassed off stage so easily. Especially against Villager. I think you kind of touched Especially against about Villager. That. I feel like Villager has like 20 different ways to kill Little Mac off stage. You're not wrong. I think you said it in the best rides before I put an audio live. You said it's kind of hard to fight Little Mac in top eight. You kind of have to really understand that he has the patience of a monk to beat you, especially with KO points. It's, it's kind of hard, but hey, man, Prism yeah. kind of knows. I just hit fair, 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 and I never have to worry about Little Mac being in my face ever again. Yeah, that's the thing, too. Like, Little Mac has to get in with, like, you know, his speed and his close range moves and super armor, but then Villager's like, I'm jumping away all the way over here. <laughs> I got it. I got a Lloyd. I got this this slingshot. Nice super armor, but I, I'm I'm so far away that I'm not gonna trade most of the time. And I think that's exactly what Prism was doing. Oh, okay, there you go. Punching through the Lloyd rock with the armor. I think he's gonna need a lot of that, especially at the ledge. Cause you see a lot of villagers, they'll just do the side B at the ledge to just like force you to do something, and then they'll get on the stage that way. Nice. Oh, can we talk about it? What? <laughs> dude, that jab lock set up on the platform. What? I mean, dude, dude I, this... I feel like Little Mac needs all the tricks he can do to play in top eight right now. Oh, he most definitely does. I think there's a reason why he's in top eight. He's got all the little tricks and trades of the secret, man, that he knows what he needs to do to definitely stay in top eight, even if it's from loser's side here, looking for an opportunity to catch Prismod on the landing. Couple of totes. Oh. One of them burned. Oh, he's oh, fine. He fine. saved his jump. Yeah, that was that was threading the needle though to get past the bowling wall. <laughs> All right. He's, I like the use of the down tilts because he can duck under the Lloyd and then catch the landing uh, from Villager. Get some decent follows from Little Mac that way. Oh, but there it is. That air dodge to ledge just covers so much space. When he has that bowling ball active for so long, it's so hard for Lil Mac to get past that. Oh, oh okay, nice timing on the the Jolt Haymaker. If he did it a little bit too late, he would have traded with that. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you, Strides. I rarely see Little Max on stream or make it to top eight, oh. so I forget that was called the Jolt oh. Haymaker. Great mash. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to play against Metal Wrist, uh Little Mac a lot, so I have to know <laughs> what this character's moves are called. Oh, okay, okay. Man, you can't get that down smash to connect, unfortunately. Oh, what an, oh. What an excellent empty hop. Yeah, that's okay. a good day. Oh, he's living, though. Man, he needs to take this stock without using the KO punch. You can save it for the next stock. Yeah, think about KO punch, though, is it will go away oh. if Little Mac gets hit. So I think okay. Little Mac has yeah. to get, like, 20% for KO punch to start to be true as a kill. So he, something for Peanut to definitely... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I cursed this you thought, man. You thought, man. <laughs> I I've never man. seen that connect like that, though. I didn't know he could connect his KO punch from the upwards F smash. <laughs> I was going to tell you, like, yeah, he only needs to be 20%. And then that's something that Metal Rift taught me. <laughs> and then I didn't think Peanut was going to pull it off. Dude, oh, my God. I didn't know that you could. I didn't know you could do that from the, the forward smash. Bro, that's, that's gross. So he used the armor from the forward smash. To go through the Lloyd and hit Villager, and then he just immediately links into the KO punch. Like, damn. I think oh. the funniest thing too is Prismoy just had to hit him once. He had to hit him one yeah, time. Yeah, he had to. He had to hit. Yeah, he had to he hit, only him, had hit him, time. him one time to get rid of the KO punch. But then he's like, "Bro, I know you're scared of this KO punch. You're not gonna hit me. You're, you're not gonna hit me, man." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I didn't think that was true, but. The way he got that to work was just too good. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just upset that it was actually 20%. I was like, yeah, this combo works at 20% and then it'll be true. And the minute I said that, like, Peanut's like, I got you, Fab. I'm here for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm still shocked. I'm I am a little shocked. <laughs> if I'm bro, right. he knew his win condition. He's like, bro, I just need this KO punch for the last time. <laughs> That's all that matters. If I can yeah. kill him here and save this KO punch, I already know he's going to be shook. 
Leave it to I was Tina, trying to say dude. it off stream. I, I was trying to say off stream. If you're playing a Little Mac this far in the tournament, you're already scared because what kind of person is playing Little Mac in this stage of the tournament? You know this guy is crazy. Yeah, I feel like a good Little Mac is always super patient too. So yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, want to yeah. <laughs> you don't want to deal with him because he's just gonna like he's not gonna run into your moves that often. But uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff from Peanut. Really good comeback using that KO punch the way it's meant to be played. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm still sh oh, sorry, I'm still I'm still who if I were Prismoid, man, I'd be Cheeks would be clenched right now. Anyways, game two. Game two, we're back on Pokemon Stadium. Honestly, man, I don't even think Prismoid was playing terrible at all. He just made the mistake at the worst time versus Little Mac. Okay, misses the second chance for that bowling ball. So that's some really good percent. Honestly, what I expect to keep seeing from Prismo is it hang out the ledges as much as possible. Yeah, it just force Little Mac into these offstage scenarios as much as he can. If anything, oh wow, the tree did so much damage. But yeah, if anything, uh, he can just camp the ledges, camp the platforms, force Little Mac to jump at him, and then just try to throw him off stage from there. Cause he's just been really good at hitting him with the bowling ball as soon as he's forced to do anything off stage most of the time. Okay. Something else you gotta remember about uh, Villager's Lloyd Rocket is that the hitbox actually isn't active immediately. So by the time he's getting it set up, you can, judge with a fast character, you can just dash in his face and hit him before you can get hit by the, the hitbox. Yeah. I saw that from uh, Pina a little bit. Uh oh. Is it gonna happen again? Is it gonna? <laughs> oh, oh my God! The armor. <laughs> That's the such armor you know. The you know why it's so good? It's because he calls him out. It's every time Prismo has gone for a forward air, he was kind of close. So all Puna has to know is read the time that Prismo approaches the forward air or back air, and then call that out with the armor, like you sensed right. It's a lot yeah. of it is just Peanut using that armor. He knows, he knows how to abuse that KO punch. And that's what you should know as Little Mac in this stage. Yeah, look if at that. If you're making it this far, you gotta use your character's tools to the look at, look at the armor that he got with Up Smash. He was able to challenge Lloyd oh. Rock and then still punish Prismoid for being above him for trying to land on the stage. And he still can't land because he's still trying to get that armor on the Lloyd Rock. That Joel Haymaker was just the perfect positioning too to get past the force, Smash. Oh God, it's, it's, uh -oh. if I were Prismoid, uh -oh. I'd be scared. Run. He hit him, he hit him, he hit him, he hit him. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got the air. The KO punch is gone. Oh, what a call still not in a good spot, though. Peanut's neutral is still really strong. He's getting some hard punishes with these forward smash anti-airs. What a oh, call out. Out. What a call yeah, out. What a call out. What a call out. What a call out. I'm All telling right. you. Prismoy is doing the autopilot villager tactic of just throwing out Lloyd Rocket at all times, even if it's not safe. And uh, Peanut's just punishing it all the time, it seems. Yeah, if not all the time, a lot of times. Yeah, and, and oh no, Ajax, thank you so much, dude. He said it perfectly. Three times. He punished him he punished him three times that he went for it. I thought I after the second time, I would have given that up because the big deal is that he, Peanut knows that Prismoid is trying to use that Lloyd Rocket to bypass time to go up and land on the stage. He's trying to use that to use it to a jump. The big deal here is that Peanut understands that and he's going to armor through not only the Lloyd, but he will armor through any other opportunity like a forward air. And he gets called out and he takes damage and he still goes back off stage. You're still in disadvantage. That's so yeah. big. You're literally okay. pulling out Lloyd just... Rocket to just go back to disadvantage. It's not working out. Yeah. Yeah. It's just different because he's dealing with a character that has armor. Yeah. Like if if it's a normal character, like you can set up really well with the Lloyd Rocket in that position because they're forced to shield or do something. But Little Mac, he just punches right through it and hits you for it. Especially the timing that Peanut seems to have for it. So that's why. That's why he's up 2-0 right now. Only one game away to move on in the, the top eight. Prismo's gonna have to dig deep right now. Really just try to change up the way he's using his uh He's a distance I using the Lloyd Rocket. All right, okay, KO tree, punch. A little bit of protection here. <laughs> you he's can gonna, tell Prismoid is trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Hiding, hiding <laughs> the tree. Like, get get this scary KO punch away from me. I, I don't care. We're not playing the game right now. Oh, 
Prismoid is looking for an opportunity to just kind of poke through a little bit here, but I do like the fact that Pina is looking for Prismoid to commit to a landing option here. Call out. Oh. What a call out. What a call out. He's such a shark with the KO punch. He finds the right opening every time. Yeah, he, that's what I'm saying. As soon as he touched the ground, he hit him. Oh my god, he's at 47. Oh my god, he's at 66. He's at... I'm, I don't know, man. This this feels like Barrog right now, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting some Barrog pre pre right pre patched Barrog from Street Fighter Five, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. There's the edge guard again, though. Prismoid signs of life a little bit. No, there's another punch through the Lloyd Rocket. This angled up force smash is just putting in so much work. Okay. Good direction. Right on. No, no, no. He's, yes. uh, he will make it. He there will it make is. It. Yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is. You need that. You gotta edge guard this guy. If I see another angled up forward smash, <laughs> I'm gonna freak out, man. Oof. Excellent oh, down tilt nice conversion. Joel Haymaker. Yeah, down tilt into the Joel Haymaker, very consistent. All right, last stock, mm. potentially. <laughs> see, and that's, that's, that's the thing for Prismoid too, is that he moves in consistently with one of the opportunities from uh -oh. Lloyd. Don't let it happen. Oh. <laughs> over another KO punch jab into the KO punch <laughs> good games good games Prismoid I'm sorry you had to get KO punched so many times on stream but Little Mac 3-0